My name's Mel, welcome to my world, and if you're new to my channel, um, at the moment I'm building a stealthy off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, camper van. And today I'm going to be staining my doors, my doors and my drawers, I should say. And to stain these, I'm going to be using this dark oak wood stain, it's Jacobean oak, if you can see that. Um, this stuff is uh, it's water-based and it's low in, low in VOCs volatile organic compounds <laughs> and apparently they're quite bad for you and one of my subscribers subscribers left a comment in, my, in the comments section telling me how really bad this stuff is these VOCs so yeah quite frightening really so it's a lovely day so that means I can open up all my doors open up all the windows get plenty of ventilation and get wood staining and because it's water based I'm going to water it down a little bit so it soaks into the wood um, and hopefully get a nice even coat. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> we'll get to see. But before I do that, I need to take all the handles off again, all the hinges off. And what I'm going to do is smooth down all the edges because some of the edges are still quite rough where I've sawn them. They're still saw cut. As you can see, they're quite rough still. So um, I'm going to use me, my little wood um, thingy. <laughs> what it's called? Rasp. I'm going to use me rasp on the really rough edges they're followed by my trusty file now this file incidentally it's not actually a wood file it's actually meant for ceramic tiles it's a ceramic tile file as you can see it's like diamond coated quite expensive but unlike a wood file it doesn't clog up it's just like um it's hard to explain it's just a rough edge it's meant for ceramic files i think it's diamond stuff on there something to do with diamonds so they're quite dear but i've had this like 10 years this thing so they do last um yeah it's not even showing any signs of wear at all yet but i've never used it on a ceramic tile i've only ever used it on wood and it's perfect for this um pine the pine is really soft so uh, yeah, any normal wood file it clogs it up so there's a little tip for you get yourself one of these if you're going to use this cladding um it's perfect for doing the edges get them all nice and smooth after you've cut them it doesn't clog up so it's a diamond um, ceramic file very good nice little bit of kit that yeah and I've had that ages <laughs> and once I've filed it all nice and level I then use a bit of bit of old sandpaper and by the looks of that I've had that 10 years as well <laughs> maybe I'll use this bit this bit looks a bit newer <laughs> <laughs> who knows but anyway so i'm going to start filing and sanding and then wood staining and whilst my wood stains drying if i get time because it is a nice dry day today i will sort out my sink drain now i did try it i've i've plumbed it in now i haven't shown you this have I? Look. oh there we go as you can see it's all nice running water now it's not running out ferociously but then i don't want that oh, a bit of air because if you have a really powerful pump you just all you're going to do is empty your water tank really quick <laughs> so i just use a small central fugal water pump that hangs inside the fuel the uh, not fuel tank <laughs> me, the water tank <laughs> i need coffee it's bad <laughs> so yeah, it's a central fugal pump that just dangles inside your water tank they're not exactly powerful but then do you really want a powerful pump because like i say you're just going to run your water out really quick and it takes exactly 20 seconds to fill this cup up with water so that's not too bad really yeah it's all right for brushing your teeth at the end of the day that's all you want it for i'm not gonna have a shower under there am i so uh yeah but as i was saying the drain pipe is it touches the seal on the inner seal so when i run the water the water tends to run along the seal and trickle down <laughs> along the whole length of the seal <laughs> and it, it's not very stealthy at all so i'm gonna whilst this is all drying i'm gonna get under the van because it is a dry day i'm gonna trace a pipe along so it drains out in the middle of the van so when the water drops down it drops down from the center of the van so if people are walking past and i happen to chuck a bit of water down there they're not going to see the water dropping down that's the idea anyway <laughs> and i'm gonna have it detachable as well from inside underneath the sink so i can if need be if i'm in a really sensitive area i can pull the pipe out and put it into a uh, gray water tank which is under there i've already got a tank for that as well i've got this old this water tank this is meant, to, meant for water anyway so i'm going to use that 
for uh, me grey water if I'm in a sensitive area but if I'm in like uh, just parked up in a back street or in a um, yeah like an industrial state then I can just let the water drain out the back of the bottom of the van it's not important it's not important at all right anyway I do need a coffee so I'm gonna have a coffee then I'm gonna get cracking do some work well oh my days it's taken so much longer than I anticipated it's all in bits look there's my doors up there on my bed they're drying nicely but I've been on this for now probably three hours so uh, the sink rearrangement for the um, plumbing underneath the van I think that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow now um, right now I'm absolutely starving so this bad boy needs filling more than, than the pipes need rearranging <laughs> So I've done my first coat, I'm going to grab something to eat, another cup of coffee or two, and then carry on. I'll keep you updated. I think today's going to be a long day. Well, finally it's done. It's finally finished. Well, not finished. The van is not finished, but the staining's done. Now, I did do one coat originally. I'd, I'd done one coat, and I thought, oh, I'd rather like the colour. It, it wasn't dark, but it was, it was nice. It was a nice contrasting colour, but then I kind of thought no I like it dark so yeah I decided to do two coats so that's two coats I think if I'd done three coats it might have been a bit too dark it would have lost I think I would have lost the grain effect in the wood now I'm a bit undecided whether to varnish this now or just leave it as it is yeah I really don't know I don't want it. I might do a bit of an experiment do an experimental piece like just get a bit of an off cut stain it and then varnish it and then decide what it looks like it's always best to sort of have a little uh, experiment first before you commit yourself to doing the full thing so yeah it may be all right also talking about varnish this strip up here now when i lived on a boat it had these strips all, all around the work surfaces they um they, they were white they were painted white so I'm a bit undecided whether to paint this white or just varnish it because I think it looks quite nice in a natural wood but again the white looks nice as well so uh, you know I don't know what to do so uh, yeah what I might do I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to let you decide you tell me whether I should paint this strip white or varnish it I'm going to let the jury decide <laughs> so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that out there I'll give it till what should I do three days so today's Friday no it's not is it Friday yeah it's Friday today <laughs> um, yeah I'll give it till Monday till after the weekend see how many people respond how many how many of you want me to paint this white or leave it varnished or varnish it it's just natural wood at the moment I'm gonna need to treat it because it'll get wet or when I'm cooking stuff will stain it so I need to do something with that strip if I come up here a bit more you can see it it just runs along the whole surface there so yeah what do you think varnish it or paint it white you decide <laughs> I'm leaving I'm leaving it in your hands <laughs> this is remarkably dry actually I've got to say it's actually quite dry I've left my fan I did have my fan running um, I've just switched it off before I started filming you see my face has gone red I think it's the fumes it's not good for you and I had my heater on oh, maybe that's why I'm a bit red because I put the diesel heater I cranked that right up to 25 and left it on for about 20 minutes while I went in and had another coffee come back and it was like a sauna in here even though I left that on as well but as I opened the sliding door the heat just like woof it was like an oven I couldn't believe it so yeah I'm not surprised it's dry <laughs> really pleased yeah the, the heater really does work well I'm quite chuffed with it oh, it's a shame I didn't get a chance to finish me drainage from a sink though because I wanted to change that but yeah I'll, I'll have to do that tomorrow now I simply have run out of time it's pitch black outside as you can see um, oh I've just noticed in the camera this I forgot to mention this this is my gas alarm I'll have to explain that tomorrow as well Sorry, I've been distracted to someone outside. I don't know what they're doing, weirdos. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I will. Um, I'll talk about my gas alarm as well. Where I got it from, how they work, and all that good stuff. I'm going to do my sink as well. Rearrange my plumbing tomorrow. Also, uh, 
what else have I got to do? Yeah, decide what to do with this white panel behind me. Oh yeah, look at the thickness of my mattress. It's eight inches deep, my mattress. So I was gonna put a, uh, a cupboard up there along here, but because my mattress is so thick and takes up so much of headroom, yeah, I don't think I should put a cupboard up there. I might be banging my bonce on it all the time. So a cupboard's gone out the window. So I need to put something, a strip now across the top here to hide that um, silver foil tape from the, uh, what's it called? The vapor barrier tape. Yeah, so I need to sort that out as well. Um, so there's still plenty to do and I've, and I've realized as well, my back doors, I've not insulated them. I've not insulated the sliding door. I've still got curtains to make, so there's still loads to do yet. And on that note, I'm gonna say good night. <laughs> Cause I've rambled on enough. <laughs> I'll try and keep this video short, believe it or not. This one's gone on a bit too long. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks for watching. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I've got loads of projects all lined up throughout the summer for the rest of the year. In fact, yeah, loads of stuff I'm going to be doing. It's all camper van related. So, yeah, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss or is it that side? It's either there or there. I don't know, it's hard to tell when you're looking at the screen. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Good night. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And uh, don't forget, leave a comment below on natural, Are you varnished or painted. Yeah, just write varnish or painted. What you think I should do with that. Yeah, you're, you're going to lead me. Lead me, you know, let me know what you think because I can't. I can't make up my mind. I rather like that, but I rather like the white as well. If you look at any boat pictures, you'll see the interior. It's quite common on boats. That's the look I was going for when I did that. But I rather like the wood, <laughs> so I can't decide. So you decide. Right, I'm going to go. Catch you on the next one. Hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, if the weather's dry. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. Till half an hour.